Robo Tune. Welcome back. Ready for a busy day of work? I'm in a studio. Just kidding. Suck my circuit bag. <laughs> you got me. You got me. I got ya. People are babies. And frankly, as a leader, I'm tired of hearing it. There have been some gripes about Robotemp's work. Quite frankly, I was thrilled with it. He got a lot of things done, and a lot more got done the one day that he worked here than all the other days last week combined. Some people were griping, saying, Robotemp threatened to eat my baby. I asked Robotemp. It turns out what he actually said was, I'm going to go get some food to eat. Maybe. That's completely different. That's what I don't need. Liars. Well, what if we get cracking? That's fantastic. Robotem, come on in here with me, buddy. All right, we've got Sunday school coming up. Just these chairs and everything are a little bit out of whack. If you could straighten up this room before tomorrow morning, that would be fantastic. So I'll just leave you to take care of that. Okay, I'll clean it up. Thank you. You know, I appreciate the investment in here. Thank you. And this has been helpful and virtually exactly what we're looking for. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up in here. Got some other tasks for you back toward the office. Why don't you uh, head on back that direction? Okay. No, that's good. Sorry. To work under the direction of someone, right in the line I'm very sorry for this. This is the new guy. He doesn't make it. He's looking for another room. You're just oh, okay. Okay. Uh, no, sorry about that. <laughs> Robo Temp. Were you able to get some of that filing done that I gave to you a little bit ago? Fantastic. Thank you. You know, on the positive side, I want to affirm that you took things from the office and put them in the filing cabinet. That's, that's excellent. On the constructive criticism side, the things that are in the filing cabinet are maybe not exactly what we want in there. We've got a pine cone, and this is looks like some sort of stage lighting, and this is just a wrapper. This is sunscreen, and the coffee pot that actually goes up here. These are, these are used tissues, and that's straight out of the garbage from earlier. Um, those are the items that I wanted filed. And in the future, I'd like you to make sure that you listen to instructions carefully and get things done as they need to be done. Are we clear on that? I guess so. Fantastic. You want to play the game? Sure, that'd be excellent. I have a phone call in here. Oh, God. That sounds so cool. Scott? Yeah, what? Hi. Hey, not trying to interrupt or anything, yeah, but... It's um, working. I'm thinking about doing kind of a change of plans on the day that we had. Um, feeling like Robotemp might be better suited to do some things other than office work. I wonder if we can maybe step over into my office and meet for a few moments. Yeah, I wasn't doing anything. I was just, it's like, uh, I wasn't doing anything.
We'll say no. 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 I don't think anybody is no. saying that here. I'm not. not we're right. certainly we're certainly not saying that. No. Nobody in this room. <laughs> the, um, other people. Other people. Dumber. Not people. Dumber people smart. are saying that. Yeah, right. But uh, obviously, we agree that they are mistaken. The work has been top notch. But we were thinking that it might be good for a change of scenery. Um, maybe ways to use your talents more completely. Uh, we have a lot of students who we need to be doing some interacting with, and we could use a little bit of volunteer help with staff. We don't always have enough staff to go around, so we thought we might take you out and kind of show you the ropes on staff person to student, student ministry one on one. Catering more towards your specific skills. Your inter interpersonal skills. There would be a problem that I am programmed to destroy added weapons upon sight. That could be... Better than I use their blood for fuel. No. Right? No, I no, I don't think that'll be a problem. No. No. I heard that Matt's got RoboTemp doing ministry stuff with teens, with youth. Uh just not comfortable with that at all. Uh, I'm not even sure that robots have souls. No pressure here. I'm just making a student contact. This is an important thing for you to learn. It'll be a big help. What's her name? Is she pretty? It's uh, actually it's a it's a guy. He wears girl pants, though. So. Uh, why don't you come up here? Yeah. We're gonna let you take over, but don't worry. We're gonna be back here the whole time. Don't feel don't feel nervous. Just talk normal. It's not very effective. Go ahead and tell him what I told you to say. Andy is a nice kid, but not well liked by his peers. Now tell, ask him if he wants to hang out. Would you like to hang out with us, Andy? Okay. Where's your girl pants? I'm not wearing them today. Okay. That could have gone better. I think a good first stop would be to swing by the school. It's good to know what kids are doing and meet some of their teachers. Sounds like a plan. Flip him off. Oh, yeah. That's not okay. Sorry. Look, let me tell you, if you're going to interact with students, you can't compromise your character. Part of ministry is being above reproach, RoboTemp. If you're flipping people off, what kind of a message is that sending? And we're just kind of supervising. So here's what we're going to be doing. This is just kind of an opportunity for you to get to know each other and learn a little bit about student ministry. So as you guys are spending time, just pretend like we're not here. If you have any questions about how to relate to America's young people, feel free to shoot that my way. This is our principal, Mr. Parker, and we're talking to him about what he thinks about robots like me going to Coronado High School. If they look like you, I will welcome any robot that walks through the doors. Is that all you have to say? Well, as long as you don't have a hat on, a beanie, a hoodie, an iPod, and nothing's pierced but your ears. Otherwise, you're absolutely welcome. Hang on the hook. Probably right. <laughs> you know you're coming. So, is this like a soccer tryout or football or what do we got going on today? We have two leading tryouts for next year's first grad. Are you really qualified for that? Mm, not really. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Robotemp demands your number. 
You better do what he says. I will destroy you. <laughs> That's right. It's kill time. No robots in cheerleading tryouts. Okay. It's alright. It's alright. We'll get him next time. It's alright. It's alright. You're fine. It's okay. It's just all right. Come on. These people are kind of cruel. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. They're not ready. So what do you think of the girls, Robotemp? Those are the stupidest girls I've ever met. All I've had was questions, questions, questions. Hey, you a robot! Robot, robot, robot. They just didn't understand, Robotemp. They just don't understand me. <laughs> I just got rejected from the cheerleading team. Can I please be in your play? Um, we don't usually put robot-type characters in a play, and really not in this particular play. I'm sorry. I promise I could battle you. Just give me one shot. Hey, you, over there. Actors, come to me. Let's do improv. You want to do improv? Okay. Uh, it off. Okay. Um, hey, welcome to McDonald's. How, may I take your order? If you don't give me food, I'll destroy you. Do you want fries with it? Yes, please. Get the fries. The fries? Okay. You know, uh, this is the year 2016. Uh, your kind is kind of outdated. I'll destroy you. Yeah. Ow. 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 Come on in. Yeah. Today in some of our experiences with RoboTemp, unfortunately we've encountered some people that just haven't shown a very open heart towards creatures of another species or, or planet. Uh, you know, uh, some of the things you hear people talk about, mandatory robot castration or uh, breeding control against robots, not the kind of thing we're about. And, and I just wish we could live in a world that had enough love for robots, had enough love for people that are a little bit different, or not people, maybe robots. I'm open the door. Ow! Robo Temp, watch your head! Another really useful thing to do is to just get some one-on-one -on -one time with students. And so right now I want to do something where you can go out and get a soda to drink. Just sit and talk. I'd like to drink the blood of a human child. Get it? Human child? Ha ha ha. going right now? Well, a good thing to do in student ministry is to take students to your home so they know where you live and kind of get to know where you're at and that way it's easier for them to stop by and since RoboTemp doesn't have a home, I thought we could just use our place. It's a good plan. Glad I have a home. Scott, that didn't contribute anything. I live in a closet. to um, 
to Robo Tent. personal things, so I'll just, I'll just let you guys have some time by yourselves. Tell me about your problems, Andy. Well, at school, I seem to have a lot of unchristianly friends. And, well, they're pressuring me to do a lot of things that I know are wrong, but I don't know what I should do. This reminds me of the story when I first landed on this planet. It was several years ago, back in the year 1984. Things were tough here for robots. We were persecuted. People just didn't accept us for who we are. So I'll tell you what I did. I just found all those people that were accepting of me and were trying to get me to do things and come take advantage of me. And I killed them all. I sucked the blood from their veins. And then I built necklaces and ornaments and whatnot out of their bones. Robots have, I don't think I can do that. It's easy, all you gotta do is slip their shots. Do you have any other advice I might be able to use? Maybe cut your hair and stop wearing girl pants. Pansy. Robots have, uh, I think he's a nice guy. And uh, he just puts me in weird situations sometimes I'm not comfortable with. The cheerleaders and trying to be a part of the play that I didn't even know what the lines were. And, uh, most of all, the killing. The killing bothered me.